Hello YouTube and we're welcome to some stainless 304 test machining. I will be attempting to make a butter knife that I designed. I made it out of wood before, milled it on one side and flipped it over and milled on the other side and that worked excellent so since I wanted to try some stainless out but I didn't really know what to make I thought that it might be cool with stainless butter knife. And I now mounted this one here with with uh, three ones. So hopefully that will reduce the coolant flying inside her. I thought that I would start out with just milling the contour at very very low depth, just to see that uh, I won't hit the holes here or something like that. These holes are made since. I needed to have free access around here when I, I milled it. The location of the butter knife or what shall be the butter knife it's looking pretty good so now it's time for some 3d adaptive clearing infusion and if you haven't seen it before it's kind of like uh, a thing you run run to rough out a lot of material but it will be kind of like uh, levels here so one will have to use another toolpath after that with perhaps a ball nose animal and use a shorter step over to get a smooth um, motion or smooth surface. strategy worked pretty good or the cutting went good but had some some issues with uh, fusion so it didn't rough down as deep as I wanted to and I cannot get it to to work it's very strange with fusion sometimes I mean I've done this not a butter knife but using the 3d adaptive strategy many times and one time out of ten something is happening with fusion so it just doesn't work i think one will have to restart computer or something and my computer is so slow so i do not wish to restart it so instead i thought that i would take several passes with the finishing strategy the morphed spiral so let's give that a try and see how it will go I mounted at second hand and move board Technicat, pretty expensive one, but it is a bit broken on one flute. But I thought that I would try it out, anyways.
So now it's time to machine the other side and I had some issues here at first. I made a, what is it called? Let's see, a mirror. That wasn't too hard, but at first it was offset a few degrees. I don't know why, I think that it is because this one is a bit offset to my origin. I don't know how to fix that. It was some, some time ago since I used Fusion. But the plan now is to flip this one around 180 degrees like that. See if it's possible to machine this one. You can see here that the origin is is wrong. And that is probably because the stock is a bit offset. Model origin. There we go, I think. So this is how the 3D Adaptive looks like. Got some stock to leave so now we'll have to use a wall nose cutter to, to get a nice smooth finish. And one thing I noticed was that on the other side I milled the contour first and that was actually very good since now the end mill smashed into a corner every time and that didn't sound pleasant.
small break in the butter knife making. I took a short road trip to to pick up this nice stand for 6040. I'm currently using a IKEA table, which is not good at all, but this one was heavier than than I thought, but I th hope I will get it out now. Alright, almost done. I it was pretty scary tipping it over. But now I think I got it. I now place the BT30 spin wheel to celebrate that I found such a nice dad. And here we got the, the butter knife. I'll be doing some some grinding or not grinding but sanding and try to polish it unfortunately I made a, a stupid thing I was attempting to to grip it with this one I did put something in between so that it shouldn't be marks but Still made some marks so that was a bit boring but the purpose of this video was to to try the flood coolant system out and to try and machine some stainless and I gotta say that I'm not afraid of machining more stainless it was was not hard at all actually I tried both a four millimeter and a Three, three millimeter end mill and the three millimeter end mill is to recommend if you got a cheap Chinese high-speed spindle four millimeter it did work but coolant was very critical I do got a sorry about that noise I do got these ones here mounted with a magnet and at one time when I did run the 4mm the magnet moved a little bit so the animal didn't get proper cooling and it only took a couple of seconds then the animal started to glow it chip welded so 3mm is to recommend when I did run the 3D adaptive clearance or clearing, what it's called, I did choose a step over of 10% and a feed rate of about 1200. That worked excellent with a 3mm end mill. I did run the spindle at about 9,500 nine RPMs, and that really worked great. On the other side, when I flipped it over, I, I tried to increase the step over when doing the 3D adaptive clearing. So I, I increased it from 10 to 20%. And I actually broke two end mills, so that wasn't very successful. I also bought one more thing from the guy, but I haven't picked it up yet. I told him that I will pick it up in about three weeks and it's a very large angle plate perhaps 150 kilos that uh, I think will work super nice as new x-axis bolt to line your rails onto there so hopefully let's say that these ones here are 250 then 150 that'd be 400 kilos plus what was this one 40 perhaps 440 plus 100 more that's almost half a ton so I think next year will be very interesting I still gotta figure out whether if I should sell this one and start 
start from scratch or what I should do but it is looking very promising anyways hope that you enjoyed the video seeing some stainless steel machining from from uh, a cheaper CNC router or on a cheaper CNC router and as always if you have not subscribed yet please do so and thank you very much to all the people that have subscribed so far and pressing a thumbs up and, and commenting it really helps a lot YouTube channel is, is um, growing every week so that is very nice to see since I'm actually putting in some effort making these videos even though they might not be super good pr produced but I mean making this one it wasn't just like pressing a button it was a lot of hours that went went this into this little project but if I would like to make some more now it will be press a button so that is nice perhaps I can make some some Christmas gifts gifts for my family Right, take care. See ya.